Today we're going to be testing out iPadOS 14 along with our Apple Pencil to check out all of the new features coming to Apple Pencil as part of iPadOS 14. So here we are with our iPad running iPadOS 14. There are so many cool things to get into. So let's start playing around. Uh, so we obviously need our app or pencil here, just charging along the top. And we've already started kind of a note here and we're gonna go through some of the new features that you can do with Apple Pencil. Now in a previous video, we already talked about a new feature called Scribble, where literally anywhere in the OS you can write with your Apple Pencil, uh, it just converts it right into text. It's super handy and of course, uh, we did demo it in that other video, but you can see it here in the Notes app as well. And you're gonna use it by making sure you're accessing this first control with the letter on it and that's gonna convert everything you write right into text. Um, so if I just write here, this is how it works. It just takes everything I wrote and just puts it right into text. It's very handy to be able to take quick notes. And of course it works here. It works in literally any application, anywhere where you are typing something, you can use this guy to enter text in and it'll immediately just convert your writing, your handwriting into text. So there's a whole bunch more with Scribble. Check that out in the other video. It's linked here on a card as we'll put a link down in the description. But Scribble with Apple Pencil is fantastic. But we're gonna talk about other things here with Apple Pencil than it can do now. So let's go ahead, undo all of our writing there, bring out some other tools. So we're gonna go back to our regular control here for just writing, drawing with the Apple Pencil. You can see all of our other controls, a few things just in this toolbar. You now controls here, jump into settings. Small updates to the toolbar here, where the palette, as Apple calls it, uh, itself. So let's go ahead, we can swipe this off the screen if we need to, tap that to hide it away. Uh, but the first thing I wanna talk about is shape detection. Shape detection is very cool. You can see some of these stars that I have here on my bulleted list. I can go ahead and draw another star, pause right there at the end, and it converts it into a shape. You know, this is with a bunch of different shapes. You can do a heart, pause at the end. Uh, you can do triangles. Again, when you're done, you just pause. Uh, diamonds work. Um, really, most of the shapes that you're going to expect. Um, you can literally draw clouds. Clouds will work. Uh, speech bubbles. Draw speech bubbles that way. So a bunch of fun shapes that you can draw. Uh, other ones including line curves, squares, rectangles. Um, there are triangles, we did those. Uh, stars we did, hexagons, outlined arrows, continuous lines that have a 90 degree turn in them. Uh, lines with arrow endpoints and a curved line with an arrow endpoint. So there's a lot you can do as far as the shape recognition here with Apple Pencil in iPadOS 14. So let's go ahead, drop this back and pull up another note here. So here we are in another note. I've already started taking it. And say I meet someone, uh, I meet Tim here and I wanna write down his phone number here into the notes app just real quick, my Apple Pencil. So I just go right next to Tim's name and I can do, switch back to my actual control here. 614-555-0136 perhaps. So as I go ahead and take that number in there, once it's done, I can actually go ahead and tap on that. And as you can see, iPadOS put that line underneath of there. It's actually identified that as a phone number. So if I tap on that number, I have these options. I can call it right there using my iPhone. I can send a message to that number and I can add it to contacts or I can just copy it. So those new data detectors here are very handy to identify information such as phone numbers that you've written down with your Apple Pencil. The same thing works with addresses here. You can see one Apple Parkway, Cupertino CA. If I tap on that, it takes me right here into the Maps application, loads up that address, makes it really easy to navigate there. So some great stuff with data selectors. It works with other data points as well, but phone numbers, addresses, those are gonna be some of the big ones that people are going to be playing around with. So let's go ahead and jump back here to our notes application. So the other great thing here is uh, we have a sentence written out. I can just go ahead and, and double tap on a word to select that word of handwritten text. And you can see just like if this was uh, typed out text just anywhere in the OS, those little handles on the side that I can drag to select more or less. I can choose individual letters or as much as I want of that text. So if I deselect it by tapping elsewhere, I can actually triple tap and it'll select the entire sentence. And then I can grab those uh, end things to grab uh, multiple sentences, multiple paragraphs, whatever it may be. And you can see here on the left-hand side, we have that tiny little triangle kind of sticking out from the side. That allows me to make more space. So I select this line. If I was taking notes, I have to go back and add some additional information above top. 
I can grab that and I can pull that down and give me more space to write additional information regarding Tim separating out my different paragraph with all his other information. It is so easy to select your handwritten notes and just move them around and kind of manipulate them here in the OS. Now another fun thing here, say we grab this text here, I can actually now, if we pull that up, I can actually copy as text. By the way, there's also this insert space above option here, just the same as before, lets me add space above, just like I was dragging it around, but I can also copy this as text. So if I copy that as text, we go back up, I go over here to pages, we have a blank document, I can go here and hit paste, and you can see I was just able to paste that text that I wrote by hand. It took that, copied it as text, and pasted it into another app such as Pages. It's a great way to manipulate text throughout the operating system. Just makes the Apple Pencil itself so incredibly powerful, uh, whether you're using the Notes app or anywhere else within iPad OS. So that is it. Those are the big changes coming to Apple Pencil here. We have Scribble that we talked about in a completely separate video. We have new data detection for different pieces of information like addresses and phone numbers, shape recognition, pasting handwritten text as or handwritten notes as text, being able to add more space, being able to select different pieces of text. It's just incredibly useful. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments or reach me over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and we'll see you guys in the next video. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys wanna see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.